ASA returned to the field nationwide in 2022. It reached almost 7 lakh children in over 19,000 villages across 616 districts in India. This is the 17th ASA report. ASA 2022 was implemented 4 years after the last nationwide field-based ASA in 2018. During this period, the COVID-19 pandemic caused schools across the country to close for about 2 years, with major impacts expected on children's enrollment and learning. Also during this period, India's National Education Policy 2020 was released. A key objective of the new policy is ensuring that all children acquire foundational literacy and numeracy skills by the end of grade 3. Let's take a look at the situation on the ground in 2022. As always, ASA covers three major areas. school enrollment and attendance basic reading math and english abilities among children in the age group of 5 to 16 and school facilities despite school closures during the pandemic nationally enrollment for the 6 to 14 age group increased from 97.2% in 2018 to 98.4% in 2022 The proportion of children between ages 6 to 14 not currently enrolled is down to 1.6%, almost half of what was observed in 2018 and the lowest we have seen in the decade since the Right to Education Act came into effect. The decrease in out of school numbers is visible even among older girls who are most at risk of dropping out. The proportion of girls in the age group 15 to 16 who are not enrolled in school dropped from 13.5% in 2018 to 7.9% in 2022. ASA 2022 also shows a sharp increase in government school enrollments between 2018 and 2022, from 65.6% in 2018 to 72.9% in 2022. This increase is visible in almost all states in the country. However, while private school enrollments declined, the proportion of children taking paid private tuition shows a significant increase. standing at 30.5% in 2022 attendance trends at the all india level remain close to 2018 levels average teacher attendance increased slightly standing at 87.1% in 2022 average student attendance continues to hover at around 72% nationally but shows major variation across states Nationally, the percentage of children in standard 3 who could read a standard 2 level text had been improving slowly from 2010 to 2018. However, this figure dropped from 27.2% in 2018 to 20.5% in 2022. States showing a decline of more than 10 percentage points from 2018 levels include Kerala, Himachal Pradesh and Haryana. Large drops are also visible in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. In standard 5 the trend is broadly similar the proportion of children in standard 5 who can read a standard 2 level text had improved slightly from 2014 to 2018 but fell sharply to 42.8% in 2022 at the state level the picture is more varied states with relatively high reading levels such as andhra pradesh gujarat and himachal pradesh showed large drops but reading levels in standard 5 held steady in states such as bihar and jharkhand This decline in reading ability is visible in both government and private schools. The setback in children's ability to do basic arithmetic is less alarming. As in the case of reading, small improvements in standard 3 arithmetic levels were visible at the national level between 2014 and 2018, but in 2022 this figure dropped slightly to 25.9%. However, there is enormous variation across states. For example, while arithmetic levels in standard 3 stayed the same or improved slightly in states such as Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh, they dropped sharply in Tamil Nadu and Haryana. In standard 8, there is a small increase in the proportion of children who can do division. Interestingly, this figure reflects slightly improved outcomes among girls and slightly worse ones among boys in standard 8. Asar last tested children's English ability in 2016. Both then and now, about a quarter of all children in standard 5 could read simple English sentences. Among children who could read sentences, 62.3% could tell the meaning of the sentences they had read. 
In 2022, Asar surveyors visited 17,002 government schools with primary sections. The proportion of government schools with less than 60 students enrolled has increased every year over the last decade and stands at 29.9% in 2022. However, states such as Uttar Pradesh and Kerala show a decrease in the fraction of schools with fewer than 60 students enrolled. This may be due to the large influx of students who were earlier in private schools. The proportion of multi-grade Standard 2 and Standard 4 classrooms also shows a steady increase over the past decade. Nationally, small improvements are visible in all right-to-education-related indicators over 2018 levels, such as electricity, drinking water, availability of usable toilets and the midday meal. In line with NEP 2020 goals, about 80% of all primary schools visited reported having received a directive to implement Foundation Literacy and Numeracy, or FLN activities, with their students. And about the same proportion had at least one teacher who had received training on FLN. NEP states that the very highest priority of the education system will be to achieve universal foundational literacy and numeracy in primary school and beyond by 2025. ASA 2022 highlights both the achievements and the challenges that face us going forward. There is much to feel positive about. Schools are open again and children are back in school in large numbers than before. We are hopeful that ongoing initiatives such as the Nippon Bharat will help children recover from the learning losses sustained during the pandemic and that the next ASAR will show progress towards the targets set out in the national education policy.